To create a new user, simply click on Create New and fill in the name and the email address of the new user. You then select the role, so whether they should be a user or an administrator. We always recommend that you have at least two active admins for your account. You can also choose which login methods to activate for the user. Simply tick the box of the one that you would like to allow. We do recommend that you start off with the default classic login method, which consists of a username and a password. You can always update the login methods for your users or for your coworkers later on. So if you would like to make updates to an existing user, then click in on the three dots next to the name and select edit. From here, you can manage an existing user's rights, role, as well as their login methods. So here you can, for example, activate API keys or an electronic ID as a login method. If one of your coworkers have forgotten their login, then you can send them a reset link under the tab called Reset Credentials up here. So they will then receive an email with a link to update their password. Let's go back into the user overview and take a look at how you delete a user. Click in on the three dots and then select Delete. You will then, if you have activated the option to transfer data, be met with this pop-up window where you can choose whom you would like to transfer the data to.